Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Bible class. Mr. Dustin here, and I am so very glad that you came to Bible class with me. Now, today, I want to talk about a big word. It's probably one that you may have heard. But you might not know what it means. The word is authority. Have you heard that word before? Authority? What does it mean? Well, we're going to talk about that today. And I'm going to tell you a few stories from the Bible. We're going to read one of them that might help you to know what the word authority means. So we've been talking about a couple of miracles that Jesus did. If you remember, last time we talked about two, two things. The cleansing of the temple, whenever you overturn the tables and scatter the money and everywhere. But the other one, at Cana in Galilee, he did something with water. You remember what he did? He changed it. What did he change it to? He changed it from water into wine, something like grape juice, right? Now, this is the same place, but this is a different story. So he's in the same place again, Cana and Galilee. This is from John chapter 4. We're going to start in verse 46. So once more, he visited Cana in Galilee, where he had turned the water into wine. We talked about that last time. And there was a certain royal official, and his son, he was sick at a town called Capernaum. When that man heard that Jesus arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and he begged him, Please come heal my son. Apparently his son was close to death. Jesus says, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will never believe. The royal official said, Sir, Please come down before my child dies. Go, Jesus replied. Your son will live. The man took Jesus at his word. In other words, when Jesus said that, he believed him. While he was still on the way, his servants met him with the news that his boy was living. When, when he asked, when did he get better? The people answered, yesterday at one in the afternoon. The fever left him. And you know what? The royal official, the man that has asked Jesus, can you heal my son? He remembered that that was the exact time that Jesus just said, your son will live. And what did he do? That man and his whole household, they believed. And so this was the second sign that Jesus performed after coming from Judea to Galilee. So now, what happened? What did Jesus do? You could say he did two things. One of them, he said something. What did he say to that man? Do you remember? All he said, your son will live. Go. And what happened? His son got better. So he said something, and then that something, that happened. That's what we call authority. Now, do you remember the very beginning when it says, in the beginning, Genesis 1, God created the heavens and the earth. He made everything. How did he do it? It says, the Lord said, he spoke, let there be light. And there was light. He said, let the waters teem with life. And they teemed with life. He said, let the waters be gathered together and dry land appear. And it happened. Let the stars and moon and sun appear in the sky. And they did. He spoke. He just said the word. And everything that we see was created. How? By his word. He said it and it happened. That is authority. He says it and it happens. So people who have authority can just say something and that happens. So Jesus is a person, and he is God, who has authority. That is an important thing.
because it means that Jesus has authority to heal sicknesses. He has authority to do miracles, the impossible things, just like God. Why? Jesus is God in the flesh, in human body, just like you and me. That is why our God is an awesome God. And I want to sing that song one more time. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. One more time. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. And he really is awesome. He has the authority to speak and things happen. Why don't we pray together and then we'll be done with our Bible class today. God, we thank you so very much for having the authority to speak and the whole world and everything in it and everything that we see came into existence. You created it. You made it just by the authority of speaking. And we're thankful that we know that and we can look at Jesus who has the authority just to speak and things happen. And we know that he also is God in the flesh and that because of that, he came to save us. Thank you for Jesus who came to save us and, and he gave his life for us. I thank you for these people that are listening. I ask you to bless them and keep them and to watch over them. Thank you so much for loving us. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Thank you for coming to Bible class today. I hope that I will see you again next week. Take care. Have a good week.